15 centuries ago, on the rugged, storm-swept island of Iona, off the coast of what is today Scotland, there occurred momentous events in the history of the Western world. Although much is known about this time and place, many great mysteries remain. This is known. In the year 563, an Irish monk named Columba, with twelve fellow monks, went to Scotland. There he began his 36th Christian monastery, this one on the island of Iona. The abbey grew quickly and became one of the largest religious centers in Western Europe. This was a time sometimes known as the Dark Ages. Groups of warring tribes inhabited the British Isles and the continent of Europe. In Ireland, almost no one could read, not even kings. All teaching and learning were centered in the monasteries, which is also where books were made. In this time before printing, the monks copied and illustrated books by hand. Their skill became great. Their books were written in exquisite calligraphy and decorated with wonderful illuminations. Three hundred years after the founding of the monastery at Iona, around 800 CE, one of the most incredible artistic treasures of the Western world was created. That treasure is the Book of Kells. There are also things that we do not know. No one knows for sure where that special book was made. No one knows who made it. These are great mysteries that may never be solved. We do know that the Book of Kells was created as a work of religious art, just like most of the artworks of that time. The book is written in Latin. It is a copy of a Christian Bible. The artwork and calligraphy are so fine that the book is considered a masterpiece even today, 12 centuries later. The Book of Kells is part of the cross-cultural history of art. In it are blended together art styles that are Celtic and Christian, Islamic and North African, as well as Near Eastern. The materials that were used to make this book came from as far away as Mesopotamia. Inks were made from precious jewels like lapis lazuli. These are just a few of the many, many things known about the Book of Kells. It has perhaps been studied more than any other book. It is one of the best known books in the world. It is considered by many to be the most beautiful book of all time. Margaret Mannion, one of the scholars who studied the book, said, Throughout the centuries, the pages of this great book have aroused wonder and admiration at the ingenuity and creativity of the human spirit. Moreover, the story of the book's survival for over 1200 years makes it all the more precious. There are more great mysteries. How did the book survive the attack of the Vikings in 893? What happened to the Abbey at Iona? What happened when the book was stolen in 1006? Where was it found? Was its jeweled cover ever recovered? There are other things we know. The Book of Kells is so famous that half a million people go to see it each year in Dublin, Ireland at Trinity College. The Book of Kells is so precious that in the 1980s, a Swiss publisher developed a way to copy the book while it was suspended in air and the pages were turned by air and never touched. From that process, a limited edition of 1,480 copies of the Book of Kells were made. Some 700 were reserved for the Western world. One of those rare and precious copies is here now for us to admire and celebrate. Are you ready to seek adventure? Take the challenge and join the quest for information and knowledge about this wonderful book. Throughout 2007, learn about the times that created this extraordinary artifact. Explore the most beautiful book in the world. Reveal for yourself a great treasure. The Book of Kells, illuminating the past, inspiring the future.